It's a week after Terry caught the parrot from Wazing and we're back down here to do some filming with Terry. He's on one of the other lakes on site. Um, but I know you're absolutely still buzzing, aren't you, Terry? Oh, Rightly so, mate. Chuffed a bit, I tell you. It's like freedom. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Not, not, you know, I love the fishing over there, you know, it was great. But you know, when you've, you've sort of done your time, you know, you've, yeah. you, you... You were working back through them, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd, uh, I was sort of doubling up on a lot of fish, like, you know, it was time to sort of move on. But yeah. the number one prize was still missing. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. Uh, so, how long had you sort of been fishing on that? Tell us a little bit about, you know, the leading up to the capture. Right, well, I started, uh, it was eight year wait for the ticket. You know, it was a long, long yeah, waiting yeah, list. So there yeah. was there was eight years, that's how long ago I put my name down. Yeah. But um, yeah, September 2015, mm -hmm. I started on there. Um, slow start to begin with, like anywhere, you know. Uh, took a little while to sort of get a feel for the place. Yeah. But um, probably really started coming together for me about November. If you remember, we had that trip to the estate lake. That's right, yeah. And that was, I think, the start of November. It was, yeah, early and then, November. And that was a good, great trip. Yeah, and, uh, so, so still on a high, <laughs> buzzing from there, yeah. I then drove straight to here for another two nights and a ten. So wow. um, that, was, that was the start of it, really, yeah. when, when I felt that I'd got it right. And, yeah. Uh, I mean, that was sort of November time. Normally through the winter, I like to do a bit of barbling and all the rest mm. of it, but... It was so mild. We yeah. just had like the mildest winter on record oh, for many years, mild, you know. So, yeah, and the fishing just carried on. It was yeah. it was brilliant. So I carried on, uh, and it was probably it was probably the best winter I've ever had. Yeah. Like, you so know, tell incredible. us a little bit about the lake. What sort of size? Do you reckon? I don't know what that big the lake is. Of uh, I don't know, twenty acres or something, 20 acres. twenty-five so acres maybe. Size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite a size. Yeah, yeah. But, and a lot of it's range fishing as well. Hence yeah. the boats. Like you know, everyone yeah, over yeah, there yeah. uses a uses a boat. Like, but. And when you went on there. How many sort of fish did you think were in there? Did you have a rough idea? I knew it was quite a good stock, but yeah. I've heard that so many places before. You know, I can remember Sir Ives the Goon going yeah. there and they said, oh, you know, there's 70 odd fish in there. No, no, it was about 12. Like, yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So I've had that many, many yeah. times over the years. So uh, it's not really until I started fishing the place that I make my own mind up, mm. you know. But in this case, um, the bailiff was assuring me that, you know, he said there's at least 150, there's probably over 200, like, and I make him right. You know, yeah. there, there really is, right. there's a lot of carp in there. Yeah. So, uh, and over the last sort of two years when you've been fishing it on and off, I mean, I know, you know, you've caught a hell of a lot of fish. How many, how many did you actually catch? In the, the, the parrot was my 177th fish. Wow. Yeah. yeah and how many and, different ones do you reckon? Right. Oh, I haven't gone through and looked, but uh, probably 150, 140, yeah, something so like that, you know? Yeah, I'd have to, it might, certainly over 120. Yeah. You know what so I, mean? I know I'd in the first year, it's sort of all different fish you're yeah. catching, it's, it? and it's, then the second year you start It's hard going. to tell with some of the smaller ones. There's yeah. a lot of commons amongst them as well. Right, like. yeah, yeah. But, so yeah, you got, I suppose, well, your second season, you started getting repeats, didn't you? Yeah, got oh. a great winter. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you what happened, actually. It wasn't in, it was in the spring. Late winter, early spring, I did start to get quite a few repeats. Right. And then late spring, I started suddenly had a flurry where I was catching new ones again. Oh, and, okay. uh, I actually think, like, this lake is actually joined. Yeah. Uh, or it was at the time that we had a, we had a very, very wet winter. Mm -hmm. So the water level was high and there's a little yeah. channel. And I, I think that quite a lot out of here went into there. Right, Hence yeah. the repeats. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. It's funny because I remember having a, a 25 pound common, a real dark one, quite recognisable fish, had a bit of a ball patch and a, a 28 linear. But one of the lads who'd actually fished in here, I showed him shots. So all cut like this morning, like, he goes, oh, he said, that's one out of next door. And right. I knew then, I knew yeah, then, I, knew I thought quite through. a few have come through. Yeah. Um, so, so, which made it all the harder for me to single yeah. out the one. Do, yeah. do, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, I, I started to catch yeah. a few new ones and then, uh, the season, it's got an unusual time for the close season. The close season's in July. Yeah. So you got till the end of June and then, then it was shut. And when I came back, uh, start of August, I was getting a lot of repeats then. Yeah. Yeah, so that was when I started to catch a lot more, a lot of repeats mm. and, I, and I knew that I must be close, you know, yeah. I must have caught, caught the bulk. Yeah, yeah. There was one time actually where, um, you know what it's like, you sort of go, you, you fight, go through everyone's camera and you're looking at everyone's shots and all mm. that and picking out the ones that you like that you haven't caught, you know. Yeah. And there was one chap, a uh, nice bloke, old Chris the Wizard, 
and he was right. showing me a sh he'd had a big hit like out of the woods swim, but he was showing me some of the shots and you know I'm not saying oh, I've had that bad, but in, in no, your edge you, you know, know like yeah, you know. Yeah. And then he showed a shot of one. It was a 27 linear with a, a scale above the linear line. Yeah. And I said, ooh, 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 I haven't had that one. Like, I caught it two days later. You? you know, that sort of thing was going on. <laughs> you so, talked it out, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but, but no, it was great. Right up, right through the summer was good. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the parrot came out, uh, I'm trying to think, actually never got caught through the summer. It never came out until September. Um, it done three captures in the spring. Yeah. And, the, you know, each time it got caught, then I'd, I'd bugger off for a week yeah, or two, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I missed quite a bit, a mm -hmm. bit through the spring. But uh, summertime, it didn't come out at all, which is going back on, in, you know, on its past captures. I can mm. see, you know, through the summer months, it very rarely gets caught. Yeah. It seems to get caught in the spring. Typical big fish. Yeah, I yeah. think they, they like good oxygen levels, you know yeah. what I mean? Good oh, water see, quality. Yeah. Yeah. So it gets caught early mm -hmm. and then it gets caught again late. But it came out in September uh, and it was way down in weight, 60 pounds exactly. And yeah. I didn't see it on the bank, but apparently looking a little bit poorly, you know? Yeah. Maybe it'd been trailing tackle, who knows? Right, Do you yeah. know what I mean? But that was September and that was enough for me to think, mm, I'll leave it for a little while. Mm. Um, I came over here actually, just for a little bit of quiet fishing. Yeah. And then uh, didn't really go back there properly until November and second trip back, Steve caught it. Yes, uh, Steve Brilliant, yeah, yeah. Br brilliant capture. Um, and I really, I, you know, then the weather went cold. Um, I spent all, all, all the previous winter fishing it really, really hard. Yeah. So, uh, and I'd missed me river fishing. Do you know what oh, I mean? Yeah, I'd already yeah. done it, you know, and it was really the last one. I thought, what's the chances, you know, out of mm. all those fish in the lake, of singling that one out, catching that one. I thought, I'll leave it for the winter. Done me river fishing. Uh, first trip back was only the week before I caught it. Yeah. And I'd done one night, but they were doing quite a lot of work over there. Uh, not, not causing any problems on the lake, but like they've got putting off fencing in. Yes. So there was yeah. chainsaws right. going, bonfires, yeah, smoke, yeah, yeah, and all the rest yeah. of it, and that, JCBs driving around. Mm. Uh, so I only done the one night and I thought I'll let them finish off and then I'll come back. I came over here for my last night. Right. And then I went back last week, yeah. um, still done two nights in here because they were still doing the work. And I had one night left. Weather was really, really mild. I knew there wasn't many people over there. I went for a stroll round. Wind was blowing a hooly and getting stronger. It was that Storm Doris, wasn't it? Massive yeah. bit of low pressure coming in. Just picked up and up and up and it got really... When I had the bite in the morning, it was wild, it was wild yeah. yeah. But yeah, I set up, um, when I went for a stroll, I saw a couple show. Right. Uh, I was talking to one of the other lads, see a couple show. Walked back, or jogged back, ran, <laughs> ran a few, you know what it's like, you know, all the way yeah, back yeah. to get me kit off of here. You can drive right around, which makes it a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. Bundled all the kit in the car, uh, in a bit of a state, and then drove back around. Um, I wasn't in any rush to put the rods out, that was sort of only midday. Right. And. Uh, but you know, got where I was you over shallow. To be. Yes, yeah, I've got yeah, exactly yeah. where I wanted to be. But there's loads of coots all yeah. over the place, shallow water as well. I thought, mm -hmm. I'm not going to put them out and then only have to redo them again later on because yeah, the yeah. birds have picked me up. I yeah. thought I'd put them out right at four or five o'clock in the evening. Yeah. And, uh, and by that stage, obviously, I'd seen several more shows. You know, right. already had a good feel for the swim. I'd fished it many times mm. in the past. And at range, does the parrot show much? Have you ever seen that one show? I've seen it show two or three times. Yeah, hundred right. percent. And yeah, it more yeah. shuffles. Yeah, yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not yeah, coming yeah. right no, out sort no. of thing. But it shuffles. Yeah. There was one occasion I'd seen it in the winter actually, the year before, for, right where I caught it. Yeah. Funny enough, just right. a little bit behind it. Yeah. But um, there was a swan there, and it showed next to it, and it just shuffled sort of and went over. Mm. And you looked at the swan and you looked, you thought well, that had to have been there. There's <laughs> nothing else. The yeah, he was as wide as the swan. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Even yeah, though he's yeah. 150 yards away. Yeah, yeah. But. Uh, yeah, there was one bit, it was all shallow, so the swimmer went in, the life buoy, and you've got about probably 120 yards of three to four foot deep, and right. then it drops into a deep gully, nine, ten foot. Yeah. A bit of a gutter, really, that runs around the island. Okay. It runs all the way around yeah, the yeah. islands, and a lot of the rest of the lake is shallow. Yeah. And uh, not in the gully, just this side of it, not even where it slopes off, still on four foot on the shallow bit. Right. I remember there being a clump of weed growing okay. last summer. There was lots of weed all over the lake, but there yeah. in particular, there was a clump of weed that I'd seen the parrot around regular. Okay. Uh, yeah. When it's over that shallow ground feeding, its tail actually lops, even though it's three foot deep, his yeah. tail's out of the water. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. He's a long old fish. So it was always an area that, that was the rod. If there was any rod that I fancied mm. for the parrot, that was the one. And uh, yeah, got the rods out, used the old boat, got them out there in the evening, sort of up five o'clock, they were all out. Mm -hmm. um, and just after dark, I actually heard, heard fish showing up to my right, over okay. real shallow ground, like yeah. two foot. And it was one of them, I was really, really tempted to redo one of the rods. Yeah. But I've seen that happen before. 
And if the water's coloured like it was, was last winter, because the river flows in yeah. quite regular, uh, it was 18 inches higher the water last winter. Right. So that yeah. two foot would have been three and a half foot, and yeah, it would have yeah. been chocolate brown, the water. And it, and you, you, it was a good air even in the daytime, mm. but the water was crystal clear. Uh, you know, I thought I'm not going to redo no. a rod there. If they are, that, you know, although they've come in in the night, they'll be drifting back yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. So, so I left the rods, uh, stayed up quite late that night, bit of television and what have you. Right. Um, Woke up first thing in the morning and it really was blowing a hoolie and yeah. heavy rain as well, like kept showers and that, squally weather. Uh, but a big carp with Yeah, that. yeah, it was one of the, yeah, I'm always up first light, yeah. cup of tea and watching the lake, but it was the sort of conditions you're not going to see a lot, yeah, it was yeah. horrible. Yeah. And I rolled back over, like, right. you know, rolled back and, and it seemed like a minute later I woke up to a bleep. Right. Um, Focus my eyes on the old tips like you do. I didn't have bobbins on, even yeah. though I was fishing at mega range, you're right. over shallow water that, that yeah. you know, that I want, but never had a drop back out there. Right. Um, and yeah, I had a bleep, and it was the middle rod, and uh, I see the old tip starting to bend and starting yeah. to bend a bit further. Now I'm out and I'll get my old boots on quickly and all that. Like, and by the time I got down to the rod, it was out of the clip and yeah. taking line off the clutch. Right. Um, what, fast or just steady or? Steady. Oh yeah, so, typical sort of big, big. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did, 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 did. Yeah, tight, yeah, yeah, yeah. tight. The tip was bent right, right almost yeah, under yeah, the other yeah. rod. Where I was fishing off to the right yeah, at range. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, picked up the rod. Uh, typical ways in, you know. There, there are a lot of the, there's a lot of big fish in there. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, yeah. But at range, you can't tell if it's a twenty pound or thirty pound mm -hmm. or, or a sixty pound. You know, yeah, but yeah. it was just a heavy fish. Pugged up a couple of times, just had to ease it out of the weed. And. Uh, it wasn't until I got it back about halfway that you start having those thoughts. You start to think, this, this could be. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? This yeah. is fair. But I'd had that three, four times in the past and dropped it. I, in hindsight, having caught it, I definitely believe I've lost it at least once. Right, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. it's got that sort of a mouth. Poor, he's, you know, the mouth's not, not like a normal carp. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's very yeah. hard as well. And uh, when you see it on the bank, you can really imagine the up bouncing out. Yeah, yeah. And I yeah. think I'd had that happen. Um, but yeah, got him back to about halfway, and I'm starting to think, mm, this could be him, like. And then about a third of the way out, his tail came out of the water. And I knew it was still three foot deep there. And he's got his head on the bottom trying to, do you know what I mean? Got him a little bit closer, and I've now got the waders next to me. I'm about to slip out of my boots into the waders. And then the back came up, and it was wide, grey, crusty, yeah, do you yeah. know, like wider than anything I've caught before. And I thought, that's him. That's got, that's got to be him. And I'm still thinking whether to put the waders on or not. And uh, yeah, I got it just a bit closer, and then it actually turned sideways, and I saw the scale pattern. I saw the right. linear, the little linear scales. That was it. That forget, it. Yeah. forget the boots. The boots got kicked out of the way, yeah. and I just waded straight in, in, in my club, straight out to my chest, yeah. and right in the in the tip. Just like you've got a bit of a deeper gutter that runs yes. around the island, you've got the same thing close in. So uh, once I've got it, and that 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 deeper gutter is filled with weed. Right. Whereas all the shallows, just over the course of a winter of big winds hitting it and yeah, all the rest yeah, of it, yeah, yeah. it scours clean, right. you know, under toes and yeah, what have you. Yeah. But that gutter still had weed. And I got it close into that gutter and it went down a little bit, picked up a bit of weed and uh, nothing airy, like, you know, right, but, yeah. but, but pulled it back a bit. It was actually made it easier to get in the net, yeah. have weed over his head. Yes. But literally I got him in the net and as I went to lift it, it rolled back over the cord. <sighs> And it was quite docile until then, you know, it wasn't yeah, a problem. But yeah. once I touched him with a net, oh man, right it, it was like a 60 pound serpent thrashing on the surface. Oh, Do you know that. what I mean? <laughs> Could you imagine what yeah. was going, you know, oh, I was thinking, no, no, please, please, please. And I'm never panicky with a, with a net, but I did. I, I was a bit panicky. I just yeah. wanted to bundle him in the net. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, as soon as he cut, I had to wait those few seconds for him to stop again, stop shaking his head. And then I didn't, I didn't even wait for him to come to the net. I waded to him. Right. Just waded yeah, straight yeah, out, yeah. straight out of the net, pushed it underneath him, lifted him and just get him. <laughs> got him at last, you know what I mean? The, the, yeah, the buzz just brilliant. Just brilliant. Like, you know, yeah. looks in the net, mate, you know, there's no Pure mistake adrenaline. in it. But you still yeah. can't help look at his mouth and, yeah, and that, yeah, yeah. just to make sure. Yeah. But yeah, the parrot so, got him. So after 170 odd captures, yeah. It made you wait a bit, didn't it? But oh. it caught some beautiful fish on the way. Uh, mate, All the, the other big ones. The fishing over there was incredible. One yeah. of the best campaigns I've ever, you know, yeah, best yeah. Fish, fisheries I've ever fished. And, uh, like, like just so many big scaly fish in there, you yeah. know. Like once I put the, all the shots together, you'll you, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, They'll be on so one batch, like you like you do, you yeah, know. But there's yeah. loads and loads of goods in there. So, real, yeah. real good. 
Yeah, huge relief. Yeah, and, yeah, more than anything. And, and a PB. Yeah, yeah, 20, <laughs> 20 years, years to beat a PB. Not, yeah. that, not that that's not ever that, been, know, been the thing, not, but, yeah. but yeah, yeah, and not, not by ounces either, no, eh, you no. know, by a few pounds. Yeah. But I always wondered, um, you know, I photographed on the back a couple of times and always thought, hey, I'm never going to be able to lift it. Like, you know, Steve, yeah. he's a big old bloke. Yeah. Matt Jackson's got arms out here. Do you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The two people I'd seen hold it had no yeah. problem. But it actually wasn't that. It's adrenaline, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he was in. all right. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just lifting him out. I didn't want no on top of your knees. It's too big a fish. I just yeah, wanted yeah. to lift him off the mat, like, you know. But yeah, he was all right. Like, Brilliant. it wasn't until the next day I started thinking, oh, my old arms are hurting, like, you know, yeah. really, it's nice sort of kicks in 24 hours later. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, what a story. 63 pound mirror. You know, it took a lot of catching, but in proper sort of wintry, that, big carp conditions. That was the other thing, better, February, it? you know. It's almost like when you caught Mary, that was yeah. stormy, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that, uh, they are my favourite conditions. I can think yeah, of a few, yeah. you know, the Ellis, them sort of ones, like where winter yeah, conditions. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's now my favourite thing to look out for at yeah, that time yeah. of the year, you know, January, February, those big, big windy, big rains, yeah. big low pressures after a long spell of yeah, cold. Perfect. Yeah. And he was leached up, loads of leeches all in his mouth and so everything. Well he probably dormant. just woke up, woke up, come yeah. over. He was on the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want. Brilliant. Well done, Tell. Great story. Brilliant. Cheers, Thanks, mate. mate. Cheers. Well done, Terry. Hey! 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 <laughs>